Do uniform metal wires P and Q? There's a lot of data to think and uh, assess. Two metal wires P and Q are having different areas of cross section and resistivity is but the same length. They have the same length L note. Are subject to a potential difference V as shown in the figure. So both of them are given it's the same potential difference. If A and B are two points on the wires such that PA is L1, PB is L2, as shown, the potential difference between points A and B will depend. Right. So if you want to find out the factors on which the potential difference depends, you'll have to find the potential difference first. In a potential difference, you will have to There are different cross section areas, they say. Right. So this is this length is L1. And this length is L2. So maybe points are in the potentials. We'll have to find them. Seems like they've been given the same potential V. So So you know when the current flows, one current goes this way, the other current goes this way, potential drops. And you can take the potential at this point as Vp and Vr are the same. Vp is equal to Vr. It's the same potential. Right? Then uh, potential difference per unit length. Potential difference per unit length. Because you know the whole length is L note. Potential difference PD per unit length. PD per unit length. PD per unit length when you take potential difference is Total potential difference V divided by L note. And this is going to be the same for both. Because both have the same potential difference, both have the same length, so potential difference per unit length is same. So we can say potential difference for L1 length. Potential difference per, for L1 length. So, what? How do you write potential difference for L1 length? V note V over L note multiplied by L1, and this is equal to V P A V P A means V P minus V A. Where the potential is there? Maybe the higher potential is on this side because current is flowing towards this side and getting out from this side. So PD for L2 length V over L node into L2 V R B V R B so that's V R minus V A V R minus V A. So what do you need to find out is V A minus V B or V B minus V A. Higher potential is at A, so V A minus V B. V A minus V B. You can write V A minus V B, and you can get it. Now you know V P is equal to V R. Neither. These two are equal. They are the same. 
So VP minus VR and uh, sorry, VP minus VR is zero. So how do you get VA minus VB? You have to deduct here it's VB not VA V A minus VB. So you have to deduct the second one from the first one. That's V over L naught into L2. Minus V O L naught into L bar. So V A B is equal to V A minus V B is equal to V naught V O L naught V O L naught into L two minus L one. So this is the answer for V A B, and they're asking V A B depends only on. On all the parameters, areas of cross section resistivities L note V and L1 my L2 minus L1. Wrong. Only the resistivities L note V L2 minus L1. Wrong. Resistivity we don't need. Only on L note. Only on L note V L2 minus L1. Yes, correct. Only on V and L2 minus L1 wrong. Only on L2 minus L1 wrong. So answer is the third one. Right? You have to be very patient when you are simplifying this. To get the differences. V A minus V B or V B minus V A. So you have to be able to write those equations like you write in relative motion. Relative motion. Leave a matter of any. Any. Delian node. 